やだー<笑>ヘンリオー and welcome back to my channel n o w and today we will do the perfect unboxing and review of my lovely new kitties wow. Yay. <laughs> I got a lot or a few kitty figures and n i a n s o n thought we will do an unboxing Okay, I suck at this cat language. <laughs> Any n y a w we will have a few stuff and let's get right into it. The first m y a w c h is actually not a cat, but this super cute fox girl from No Game No Life. It's the pinch strap of e v e Isana, I think it was Isana. I'm totally blanking on her name right now, <laughs> but I got her pinch strap. I want a figure of her, but for now there's none which I really like. I don't like this overly lewd concept of her. I love her actual outfit. Why can't they do a figure of her in her actual outfit? Anyway. That's why I picked up this super cute pinch strap of her. I really adore it. And I also got a cute Smith present, which is a box. And it's this one. It's the red box. And assembly craft, where you build your own cardboard model kit of a fox. Super adorable. Can't wait to build this one. I love such things. <laughs> anyway, that's just the small items that I got. And let's go on from the smallest to the biggest figure that I got. And the first one would be this adorable Hatsune Miku Maneki version. Look at her! Look at her! So freaking adorable! Her box looks super super cute with the cat design. Then we have the interior of her box with all the stuff that she comes with. It's not a whole lot, but she has so many cute poses. She comes with a golden leak and a golden trunk. We have Her adorable kitty paws, a sitting pose. I don't got the cushion sadly because that was an exclusive, which I didn't even know there was a version with an exclusive cushion. Yeah, and some, some more arms, and we have her three face plates, which I'm kind of sad about the way they have chosen the face plates. She has this beautiful heterochromic eyes, and what did they give her? One winking. Face and one where both of her eyes are closed. I mean, come on, why you have these super adorable heterochromic eyes and you give her just one face blade with it? And then this one face blade doesn't even have the cat mouse? Why? That would be my only gripe with this figure, but otherwise, I would say she's perfect. She's a 10 out of 10 because, first off, her ears. Are attached to a head already so you don't need to fiddle around and put some nasty cat ears in it they are a top and they stay a top I love the way they have colored her hair in this beautiful gradient this teal colored hair is amazing beautiful the scalp is perfect I love the little bows in her pigtails with the lucky charms on both sides Then we come to her actual outfit, which is in this nice maniky like color scheme. And we got so many cat references in her outfit. Like we have the golden bell on her neck, we have the cat belt, with, which is held by a paw, and some golden cat ears. Then we have on the back the cat, a golden cat. Symbol. We have 
two cats on both of her arms, uh, on her shoulders, on both of her shoulders. We got, of course, her super cute tail with a little um, flower as a bow. We got more belts and we got two lovely paw scarves. No, scarves is not the right word. So two beautiful paw tassels at the back, which are part of her bow, I think, of the back bow. And at the front we have a little apron where, of course, there's also a sing stands uh, Lucky. And then we have her super adorable cat socks and red sandals. Super cute! I love it! I love it! She's so adorable! I wish they would have given her a bent knee so that you can really do her in a pose where she has these cat claws and one back when one leg is bent and she stands on one that would have been great so there are a few missed opportunities with this nandroid but otherwise if you're a cat lover you should get her look at her different poses they're all freaking adorable even so i have to say the golden case didn't stay that well into her hand but otherwise uh, super cute kitty cat super super cute and i'm so happy and then i realized they will do a scale of her in this outfit and i hope they will do her justice and if they do i will probably pick this up because i'm so in love with her cat nandroid and oh wait wait where did i put it and on this note i nearly forgot this item oh i would have bitten me in the ass i got her acrylic stand as well there were four different versions and so, even some newer versions of this one and i love the acrylics i missed them on the first one and i got this one on these of the second run and these two belong together and I absolutely freaking adorable and in this acrylic you can see there are cat paw prints on her shoes but the actual nandroid doesn't have it maybe the nandroid will have it but uh, the scale will have it but not the nandroid sadly like a few details they didn't include it but otherwise Super cute, super adorable, highly recommendation from me. I'll do the next one. I'm trying here, okay. I finally got my very first scale from the lovely artist Star Shadow. I will link her in no, her, her Twitter, I think, down below and maybe up front if I manage to do this. And I'm talking about the very lovely Tea Time Cat first version, Li Hao. And if you're wondering Li Hao, if I even pronounce this right, sorry if I don't, is a cat type. It's a cat race, a Chinese one, and she's pretty, she is pretty similar to the uh, British short hair, so they are really similar. And the artist made the Li Hao into a very adorable kitty figure. I love the box, it's so classic. It's tea themed because you get the tea can with the figure. Super, super cute. I love how they, how we both recreated this figure. She's a non scale, but absolute freaking adorable. I'm sorry that I'm always saying the same words so after you got her out of her box you got the super cute little birdie that she comes with which is nicely sculpted you can see the feathers the paint job is magnificent because we have some kind of gradient she it even has some cute little feet so adorable then we have the tea can obviously with some very nice details on all four sides again the manufacturers on one side Rebows and you can open the lid and put tea in it and that's exactly what I want to do. I would put my own 
mint tea in it because I love mint or peppermint tea and I grow my own leaves for it and so I will probably put, put this in this will smell heavenly and I don't think I will then ever use these leaves but I will probably put leaves inside it and the little figure comes with a little stand which I can't figure out on which foot this stand is supposed to go her feet are cat feet and also her bottom half is definitely a cat then we have her gorgeous tail with a nice paint spray on it for the stripes her super cute frilly dark green dress which depending on the light is either green or a or black the frills are very nicely sculpted there's so much detail we have her buttons up front we have these super cute fish bones on both of her little bows then she has a massive bow at her back where her tail shoots out from the skirt we have the top where she's lying on the little tea can on um, yeah on the tea can with her super small and super nicely detailed fingers again here are some bows as well we got her brooch on front of her dress and then we got this super cute head scalp with two pigtails a cat smiling face adorable eyes a bow at at the top of her head and her super cute cat ears i love this figure i can't wait for this second one which was already up for pre-order i this will be my most anticipated pre-order for next year and i i can highly i can't wait for it i can't wait for it and if you like cat girls she is a must have to pick up because she is so freaking adorable if you like the cutesy style she will fit into it and even if not you can display her anywhere you can display her with your tea she's so cute and the most interesting part is the second one they both belong together and maybe both of these cats are the cats from the from star shadow but i'm not exactly sure i can't read chinese sadly and I'm so sad that she's not on MC. So go pick her up. I can just recommend her. She's adorable. She's a must have cat girl for me. And I regret nothing. And with that, on to the third figure that I received, which is a must have cat in any cat collector's collection. Cat girl, cat collection. But before we start with her, if you want to see more cat themed unboxings or even on Miyoji unboxings or any other kind of Adibi figure unboxings, maybe consider giving me a subscribe because I want to continue doing lots of more. I have a lot of videos in my backlog which I need to edit and film. They are not only ever figure reviews or unboxings. I also plan to do my pre-order list. I have a few others. I have also a lot of mangas. I have some highlights coming up like a figure collection reorganization and manga collection organization video which are still in the making a little bit even through one i have already filmed so stay tuned tune in again i hope we will see each other again or you will see me again and i will see you again and anyway let's go to the last figure it was embarrassing enough now i got the final chance to display my figures that i'm talking about and i'm totally forgetting always to put them up here anyway let's start with the last figure and it's a sexy cat girl a little bit lewd but nonetheless a super cute cat girl and of course i'm talking about the cat girl on the chocolate base which is morph a 1 6 scale by i think Skytube or or native, I'm not exactly sure, but I will put it up here anyway. She has a fantastic chocolate mint chocolate theme ba uh, box, which I highly appreciate it. And of course, she's cast offable. You can cast her off her upper and lower bits, which I will not show on this video. If I have, the, if uh, if I would have done an exclusive review of her then i probably would have showed it to you but because she's in this haul 
and I want to show all them the other cute kitties. I will not display her nude, but you can see it up on my figure collection anyway. A lot of people already received their version as well. So we will start with the chocolate base and I have to say I love the mint chocolate theme throughout. I love the cherry which gives a pop of color into it. We have the big chocolate bar at the back, the splashes of liquid chocolate on top which are also looking really nice. Then we have the misery of my putting it together, these chocolate heart stuff. I'm not even sure what it's supposed to be, but getting it on the base was really hard and in the end my boyfriend had to do it because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to do this. The other one was pretty easy, but this one... I know why a lot of people put it in the wrong way, but you can manage it if you somehow get the angle right. My boyfriend suddenly had it and that's all that matters. Then we come to our lovely figure, which has these mint colored shoes or high heels, which look amazing. These super, super adorable knee high socks or tie high socks over knees, whatever you want to call them. With this lovely pattern on her socks, I absolutely freaking adore such pattern socks and I would love to wear them. Oh, I just love knee high socks, tie high socks, whatever you want to call them. They are so adorable, her stockings, I love them. She doesn't wear any sort of skirt or shorts but only her panties, which also are in this super cute mint color. And they have little bows on both of her sides. Super, super cute. If you display her nude, which you can, uh, her lady bits look pretty accurate, nicely shaded and nicely sculpted. Nothing too fancy, but then again, her pose doesn't let it be that exposing. And that's what I appreciate because that's how it is when you have your legs like this. So going up, we have her shirt, her half shirt. I'm not sure, but it's the mint color with a breast underlock in brown covered by her amazing jacket, which also has some buttons on the top. It flares out nicely has a lot of wrinkles and the most amazing part is when you change her upper part if you want to cast her off you have to remove her arms which just slide out on the side which is amazing i love the mechanism they thought about it and what i didn't know is that the chocolate already came attached in her hand i thought i had to put it in myself but it came pre-assembled i appreciate that so be careful if you do move around and have to pull her arms up out that you are careful with this piece because there's no other piece to put it in again if you break it anyway so her breasts are hold with this lovely shirt she has a mole on her right breast and I love the form, the squish, I love the sculpt of her shoulder blades on the back and even her spine looks amazing. And the best part is really if you look at her exposed breast, the shape is different because they are not hold and they really hang after it. So I have to say in comparison to the Daiki figure that I did a while back where you just remove her clothing and then have her nude. I prefer this style with a different body sculpt, so a second body sculpt, because then it's much more accurate to gravity, to shape, to form and everything. And I really, really, really appreciate it. I didn't know I would, but I absolutely love the extra mile that they went to get her form right. So, and the color is also nice. It's simple, nothing spectacular, but appreciate it. Not that I will display her nude, because I absolutely love the way they are squished in her closed form. And then we have her color in this brown and golden buckle form and her amazing head sculpt with her lovely brown colored hair, which on the inside is pink, pinkish in color, which I also like. I love this contrast. It 
matches her eyes perfectly. By the way, the eye decals are amazing for both um, face plates because she comes with two face plates and big. There's no such a big difference between them, but I prefer the smiling one that I have on her at the end. So this version because I just like it a little bit more. And she has a nicely turquoise, turquoise colored bow on top of her head and her super pointy plushy ears, um, which also match her hair color in both ways that they are brown on the outside and pink on the inside. And we have her tail, which also has this super nice bow with the white dots at the back of her. But I have a little bit of a grape with the bow on her tail, or the tail in particular, because it falls out pretty easily. So if you touch the tail too much, it will fall out and you can't just push it in the way she's dressed. You always have to remove her jacket, you have to remove her arms to get this freaking tail back in. And I had to do this a few times because it fallen, because the tail has fallen out. So I wish they would have done the tail a bit secure, or maybe I should just put a little bit of um, blue tag in it so that it stays more secure. And what should I say? I like her. I love her. She's adorable. I love this chocolate based base. Food themed base are really amazing. So she gets a 10 out of 10. Obviously, she's... Oh, I'm so happy. I nearly cancelled or not cancelled her, but more like I would have removed her prototype out of my wish list. But then I saw her painted and I was like, yeah, no, no, I have to get her. And I can just recommend her if you like her. If she's still good for you, maybe the other two are something more for you. But anyway, this is a banger of a figure, which I can just highly recommend. And with that, we are at the end of my unboxing of Get Figures. Again, I dressed up for the association and I really want to do it again because I still have a few more cat figures on the way and some on my some where I have my eyes on that I want to get but didn't manage to get until now. So stay tuned. I hope you liked what you saw. I would love to hear your thoughts about them and thank you for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Until then. Bye-bye.